Hi guys, I hope you're having an awesome day today. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with the new Ace Beauté Falling For You eyeshadow palette right here. I got this in my BoxyCharm base box for the month of October. And I just cannot wait to play with it. So in today's video, I'm going to share some swatches, a tutorial for this eyeshadow look right here, and my overall thoughts about this adorable little palette. So if you guys want to see any of that, then just keep on watching okay guys so really quickly before i get into the tutorial i just wanted to show you a close-up this palette is gorgeous definitely 100 percent fall vibes right here you have the leaves just a beautiful palette then when you open it up you have a really nice mirror and here's what the actual color story looks like very beautiful and very fall you have some mattes and beautiful shimmers and i did swatch it in my hands for you guys and this palette swatched like a dream like these colors are just beautiful, very extremely pigmented, very rich, um, buttery soft. The shimmers are also just gorgeous. And yeah, I love the way that it swatched, the way that it worked on my eyes. But we're going to get into the tutorial for this eyeshadow look right here. Okay guys, the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyelids using the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade white. And I'm just using my finger to apply this all over my eyelids getting near the brow bone. And I love this primer because it's very creamy and non-drying taking a fluffy blending brush i'm going to dip into the shade squash which is like a salmon looking pink and i'm going to use this as my transitional shade i'm going to place it all over my crease and i'm first just going to saturate the whole crease and then once i have enough pigment i'm going to slowly drag the um shadow a little bit higher getting near my brow bone and then once i have enough shadow i'm going to go ahead and blend it to make it look a little cleaner and just a little prettier and I love the shadow it worked really nicely and it's a perfect shadow to use as a, as a transition and I got more pigment than I was expecting and it's just really pretty and the formula is great and the brush actually that I'm using is a Morphe blending brush there's no number on it now I'm going to dip into that red looking shadow pumpkin pie which is actually like a deep red burgundy I want to say and I'm using a small brush. This is also from Morphe. It's like a small blending brush. And I'm going to place that shadow on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm going to blend it upwards and into my outer crease. And I just want to intensify that whole area. And I thought this was the perfect shade for that. I love how red it is. But it's not like a cherry red. So it's not too intense. But it's intense enough. And I'm also going to flare out at the outer part to make an outer V shape. Um, and so far I'm very happy with whatever's left on my brush I'm gonna drag towards the front of my crease and it's just such a pretty shadow I can see myself creating another look with this shadow something like a little bit more red and then I'm just gonna keep doing it I fast forwarded this part but basically I'm doing the same thing over and over until I like the intensity that I get and overall again I'm very happy with this shadow and I'm going to take that large blending brush without adding any more product to it. And I'm going to blend out the edges of that red shadow and sort of mix those two together. And I think it looks so pretty um, together. And so far, these are blending like a dream. But I'm going to go into that beautiful shimmer apple. And I'm using a flat lid brush. This is a Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush. So the way that I make my... Um, my shimmers look nice is i use the tip of a flat lid brush and i go along the natural curve of my eyelid to create sort of a cut crease effect and then i fill in the rest of my lid leaving the outer corner um without any shimmer on it and i keep going going and going until it looks nice and intense and this was such a pretty shade to use for this look i think i got a little bit of contrast which i love now i'm going into that brown i want to say like yes yeah, like a brown burgundy color pine cone and I'm also going to use the same brush from earlier, that small blending brush. And I'm going to apply the same place where I applied the red. So the outer corner. And I'm going to very gently um, drag it towards um, my crease. Just because I want to intensify everything a little bit. Make it a little bit more smoky. And then I'm just going to blend and blend. Um, but I'm not going to drag this all over like I did the red. I'm going to keep it focused in that little bit right there. And I think it looks really pretty and you get a little bit of contrast. Now I'm taking the Wonder Beauty Skyliner in the shade Jet Black and I'm applying it all over my waterline um, just because I wanted to do black so I can make things a little bit smokier and I love this liner. Now I'm going to go into that beautiful dark purple matte shadow chestnut and using a small lid brush I'm going to smudge out that black liner and make everything smokier underneath my lower lash line. This shadow is the perfect purple in my opinion for this look and just the purple that I needed because it's not too pink. And it almost looks almost black or brown in the pan, but it's super purple 
and just beautiful in my opinion the perfect shadow look at that i love the contrast between the top and the bottom and i'm also very gently starting to create a wing i started at the bottom and then i dragged a small line upwards and then i'm going to fill on my lid wherever i would do like wing liner um and i recommend using like a small angled brush i like this brush too because it's very flat but if you feel like you need a little bit more help, maybe a small angled brush. This was just the one that I had on hand. But I love this shadow. The contrast between like the burgundy, almost orangey um, shadows that I have and then that dark purple, I think is just beautiful. And I did not expect for this liner to look so nice, but I loved it. Okay, guys, so this is what the final look turned out like. What do you guys think? I love it. It's so perfect for fall. Um, I feel like it has the right amount of smokiness. And overall, this palette is my new favorite palette because it's like perfect for this season. And I can see so many looks that I can create with this. I want to share with you guys what I'm wearing on my lips in case you guys were a little curious. Um, let me see. So I did actually do a few products, like four products to make this combo until I like the way that it that my lips looked. For my lip liner, I'm using the Saint Lux uh, Love Letter Lip Liner love letter so it's like a brown then over that i went with this liquid lipstick from half caked beauty and it's in the shade bordeaux and it's a lip fondant so it's actually like a true red or i want to say almost like a burgundy red but very very red so that's what that looks like and that's not what i was going for but i just really enjoy the formula of these liquid lipsticks and over that i decided to go in with the color pop blood ultra blotted lip in the shade um ring leader which is a very like hot pink actually it's more like a mauvey pink here in person but i feel like this would tone down see it's almost like dark mauvey pink yeah i feel like i felt like that pink will tone down the super redness of the um of the matte lipstick so i apply that over the red and then for gloss i'm using the persona cosmetics honey gloss which is one of my favorite glosses of all time and that's how i achieved my lip that's the combo right there i like the way that it looks really pretty lipstick one of my favorite things about fall is the lipsticks for sure but overall i am so pleased with this palette and i definitely recommend it if you don't have it and you're looking for the perfect fall palette and i love the formula and i'm so happy that i got it in my box of charm box but that's gonna be the end of today's video guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe before you go and i will see you guys in my next video enjoy the rest of your day guys bye Mwah.